Welcome to Games and Names, where we dive into the world of cricket, a sport with a rich history and global following. Originating in 16th century England, cricket has evolved into a popular game played by millions. Two teams of 11 players compete to score runs by hitting the ball with a bat and running between wickets on a 22-yard pitch. Cricket features various formats like Test Matches, One Day Internationals, ODIs, and 2020, T20, matches, each offering unique challenges and excitement. With captivating rules and a spirit of sportsmanship, cricket continues to captivate audiences globally. Stay tuned for more stories and insights from the world of sports. Cricket is a popular sport played around the world between two teams of 11 players. The game involves batting, bowling, and fielding on a grass field with a 22-yard pitch at the center. The objective is to score more runs than the opposition while dismissing their batsmen. Players use equipment like bats, balls, stumps, and protective gear. Key aspects of the game include scoring runs, bowling to dismiss batsmen, fielding to prevent runs, and teamwork among players. Developing skills in batting, bowling, fielding, and strategic thinking is essential for success in cricket. Understanding the history, rules, and skills of cricket is important for players and fans alike to fully enjoy this traditional yet dynamic sport that combines athleticism, skill, and teamwork. Cricket is a team sport with origins in 16th century England, distinguished by its unique mix of strategy, skill, and patience. Played with a bat and ball between two teams of 11 players, the game has evolved significantly since its inception, growing from a pastime for English nobility into a beloved international sport with passionate fans worldwide. Today, cricket has several formats, each with its rules and nuances, contributing to its complexity in appeal. The origins of cricket can be traced to southeastern England, where it is believed to have been played as early as the late 1500s. Originally a children's game, cricket gradually became popular among adults in the 17th century, particularly in Surrey, Kent, and Sussex counties. The sport continued to grow, with the earliest known reference to adult cricket found in a 1611 court case in England. In the 18th century, cricket's popularity grew, and it became established as a formal sport. Patronage from the aristocracy and the introduction of gambling helped cricket to flourish, and by 1707, the first intercounty match was recorded between teams from Kent and Surrey. The Hambledon Club, founded in the mid 1700s, was the leading cricket club during this period and played a vital role in the sport's early development. The Marylebone Cricket Club, MCC, founded in 1787, later assumed responsibility for setting cricket's rules and standards. By 1788, the MCC published the first formalized laws of cricket, many of which are still in use, albeit with modifications. As the British Empire expanded, cricket was introduced to other countries, particularly in the Caribbean, Australia, India, New Zealand, and South Africa. The first international cricket match was played in 1844 between Canada and the United States, while the first ever test match took place in 1877 between England and Australia. Cricket's global reach expanded further in the 20th century with the founding of the International Cricket Council ICC, in 1909, which began to oversee international competitions and establish regulations. The essence of cricket lies in the contest between bat and ball. Here are the key rules and gameplay elements of cricket. Cricket is played on a circular or oval-shaped field, typically on natural grass. At the center of the field is a 22-yard long pitch. Each end of the pitch has three stumps topped by two bales, forming the wickets. 
Made of cork and leather, the cricket ball is hard and weighs between 155.9 and 163 grams. The bat, usually made of willow, has a flat surface for hitting the ball and a rounded back. Each game of cricket consists of innings, with one team batting to score runs while the other team bowls and fields to prevent scoring and dismiss the batsman. A team scores runs when the batsmen hit the ball and run to the opposite end of the pitch, or if the ball crosses the boundary for an automatic four, if it touches the ground, or six runs, if it clears the boundary on the full. A batsman can be dismissed in several ways, including being bowled, the ball hits the stumps, caught, the ball is caught on the full by a fielder, leg before wicket, LBW, run out, and stumped. Over the years, cricket has developed a rich tradition of major tournaments, each with its own history and prestige. Here are some of the most important tournaments in international cricket. The ICC Cricket World Cup, held every four years, is the premier one-day international tournament in cricket. The first World Cup took place in 1975 in England, with the West Indies emerging as the inaugural champions. The tournament has since become one of the world's most watched sporting events. Australia holds the record for the most World Cup wins, followed closely by the West Indies and India. The World Cup's popularity has introduced many iconic moments, including India's underdog victory in 1983 and Pakistan's triumphant 1992 campaign led by Imran Khan. Introduced in 2007, the T20 World Cup quickly became popular due to the explosive nature of the T20 format. Held every two to four years, it showcases the world's top teams in a fast-paced competition. India won the first T20 World Cup in 2007, followed by notable wins by teams such as Pakistan, England, and West Indies. The Ashes is a highly anticipated test series played between England and Australia. Originating in 1882, it remains one of the most storied and fierce rivalries in sports. Played biennially, the Ashes is a five-test series with the host nation alternating between England and Australia. The Asia Cup, organized by the Asian Cricket Council, is a regional competition for Asian teams, including India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, and Afghanistan. Played in both ODI and T20 formats, the Asia Cup serves as a major platform for intense rivalries, especially between India and Pakistan. Cricket's future appears bright, with increasing viewership, especially in T20 formats, which have proved highly engaging for younger audiences. Babar Azam born in Lahore, Pakistan, is a highly skilled and talented cricketer who has made a significant impact on the international cricket scene. Known for his elegant stroke play, solid technique, and consistency, Babar quickly rose through the ranks after his international debut in 2015. He is often compared to cricketing legends like Virat Kohli and Joe Root due to his ability to construct innings and play match-winning knocks across all formats. Babar's graceful cover drives, wristy flicks, and exquisite timing have earned him praise from fans worldwide. Babar Azam is one of Pakistan's finest modern-day cricketers, hailed as one of the most talented batsmen of his generation. Known for his elegance, technique, and consistent performances across all formats, Babar has carved a place for himself in the annals of Pakistani cricket history. His journey from a young aspiring cricketer in Lahore to captaining Pakistan's national team has been nothing short of inspiring. Muhammad Babar Azam was born on October 15, 1994, in Lahore, Pakistan. Coming from a family passionate about cricket, he was naturally inclined toward the sport from a young age. His cousins, Cameron and Umar Akmal, were already established players, and Babar often credits their influence on his early cricketing interest. Babar began his journey as a ball boy at the Gaddafi Stadium in Lahore, where he got a close look at international cricketers, igniting his own dreams of representing Pakistan. Babar's journey began in earnest when he joined a local cricket academy in Lahore and soon made his way into regional cricket. His performances caught the selector's eyes, and by the age of 15, he was representing Pakistan in under-15 tournaments, eventually advancing to the under-19 level. 
Babar played in the 2010 and 2012 ICC Under-19 World Cups, where he showcased his potential, ending the latter tournament as Pakistan's highest run scorer. Babar made his one-day international ODI debut for Pakistan against Zimbabwe on May 31, 2015, in Lahore. Scoring 54 runs on debut, Babar displayed his composed and mature approach to batting. It was clear from the beginning that Babar had the technique, temperament, and hunger for runs that could make him a star. His T20 International T20I, debut came soon after, in 2016, and he made his test debut against the West Indies in October 2016. By the end of the year, Babar had already established himself as a key player in Pakistan's lineup, showing versatility across formats. His consistent performances quickly silenced any critics who doubted his abilities, and he became a vital cog in Pakistan's batting lineup, which had long been plagued by inconsistency. Babar's journey has been studded with remarkable championships, series wins, and individual accolades. Here are some of his most notable achievements. The ICC Champions Trophy 2017 remains one of Pakistan's most memorable tournaments, where they emerged as champions, defeating India in the final by a record margin. Though young, Babar played a crucial role in Pakistan's journey to the title. His innings in the group stage and semi-final helped stabilize Pakistan's often fragile batting order. Babar's contributions were instrumental in Pakistan's thrilling victory, and the win was a turning point for Pakistan's ODI fortunes. The 2019 ICC Cricket World Cup was a defining tournament for Babar Azam, as he scored 474 runs, becoming Pakistan's highest run scorer in a single World Cup edition. His performances included a brilliant century against New Zealand, where his 101 asterisk off 127 balls on a tricky pitch showcased his calm under pressure. Although Pakistan didn't progress beyond the group stage, Babar's performances solidified his place as one of the top ODI batsmen in the world. In early 2021, Babar led Pakistan to a historic series victory against New Zealand in Test cricket. Babar's century in the second Test was crucial, showing his maturity as a Test batsman and team leader. This series win was a significant milestone in Pakistan's Test cricket history, and Babar's leadership drew praise from fans and experts alike. In April 2021, Babar became the first Pakistani captain to win an ODI series in South Africa. His century in the first ODI and steady leadership throughout the series helped Pakistan clinch a historic win. Babar's 103 off 104 balls in the first match of the series was especially significant as it marked his entry into the ranks of the world's top-ranked ODI batsmen. Babar Azam was appointed as Pakistan's ODI captain in 2020 and soon became the captain across all formats. His captaincy has been marked by a calm demeanor, a strong focus on fitness, and a relentless pursuit of excellence. Babar's leadership style emphasizes leading by example, which has earned him the respect of his teammates. Since taking over as captain, he has guided Pakistan to victories in several bilateral series and has overseen a transformation in Pakistan's approach to limited overs cricket. He has fostered a young, competitive team culture and has placed a high premium on fielding, an area where Pakistan has historically struggled. His captaincy style has brought a degree of stability to Pakistan's team dynamics, leading to improved performance in international competitions. Shakib Al Hassan, the talented Bangladeshi all rounder, has made a significant impact on cricket with his exceptional skills. Born in Magura, Bangladesh, he emerged as a versatile player adept in batting and bowling, establishing himself as a valuable asset in international cricket. Starting his career in 2006, Shakib quickly became a key player for Bangladesh, known for his left handed batting and effective left arm spin bowling. His consistent performances led to numerous accolades, propelling Bangladesh to success in international cricket. Shakib Al Hassan is widely regarded as the finest cricketer Bangladesh has ever produced and is considered one of the greatest all-rounders in the history of the game. His ability to perform both as a batsman and bowler, across formats and under different conditions, 
has made him an invaluable asset to Bangladesh and one of the most respected players globally. Throughout his career, Shakib has been a game-changer, inspiring a new generation of cricketers and elevating Bangladesh's profile in world cricket. Shakib Al Hassan was born on March 24, 1987, in Magura, Kulna, Bangladesh. From an early age, Shakib displayed a natural talent for cricket, showcasing a blend of skill and determination. His early exposure to the game came through informal street matches, a common starting point for many young cricketers in South Asia. Recognizing his talent, he was soon playing in local leagues, where he began to refine his batting and bowling techniques. At the age of 15, Shakib joined a sports academy, where he received more structured coaching and started gaining attention with his all-around abilities. His natural flair for the game and adaptability on the field soon caught the eye of the selectors, and he was picked for the Bangladesh Under-19 team. Shakib's consistent performances at the Under-19 level, particularly in the 2005 Under-19 World Cup, marked him as a rising star in Bangladesh cricket. Shakib made his one-day international ODI debut for Bangladesh on August 6, 2006, against Zimbabwe. Although his debut was modest, he quickly made a name for himself with his disciplined bowling and valuable contributions with the bat. His test debut came shortly after, against India in May 2007, marking the beginning of a career that would see him become the leading all-rounder in Bangladesh cricket history. One of Shakib's early highlights came during the 2007 ICC Cricket World Cup, where he helped Bangladesh secure a famous victory over India in the group stages, a win that ultimately knocked India out of the tournament and led to Bangladesh reaching the Super 8 stage for the first time. His performance against South Africa in the same tournament, where he scored a quick 53 runs, showcased his skill and versatility and cemented his reputation as a valuable all-rounder. As Shakib's career progressed, he became Bangladesh's go-to player in all formats. By 2008, he had established himself as a premier all-rounder, both for his left-arm orthodox spin and his aggressive yet calculated batting style. His accurate bowling, coupled with his ability to score runs consistently, made him invaluable. Shakib's success is largely attributed to his strong work ethic and tactical understanding of the game. His bowling, often seen as economical and disciplined, focuses on accuracy and variation. His batting, on the other hand, is marked by his ability to rotate the strike, find gaps, and accelerate when needed. This versatility allowed him to adapt his game depending on the format and the match situation. In 2009, Shakib was handed the captaincy of the Bangladesh cricket team, making him one of the youngest captains in the nation's history. His leadership skills were evident as he led Bangladesh to historic victories and helped them compete on the world stage. Under his captaincy, Bangladesh achieved notable victories, such as the 4-0 ODI series win over New Zealand in 2010. Shakib's leadership style was assertive, and he fostered a winning mentality within a team that was still maturing in international cricket. Shakib's captaincy saw him take on the additional responsibility of guiding younger players. He was known for his calm demeanor and strategic acumen, leading Bangladesh to become a more competitive side. His ability to lead by example with both bat and ball earned him the respect of his teammates and helped instill self-belief in the team. Shakib Al Hassan's career has been filled with notable achievements, match-winning performances, and memorable championships. Here are some of the highlights that define his illustrious career, Shakib captained Bangladesh in the 2011 ICC Cricket World Cup, co-hosted by Bangladesh, India, and Sri Lanka. The tournament was significant for Bangladesh as they played in front of home crowds, and Shakib's leadership was critical to the team's performance. Bangladesh registered memorable wins, including a close victory against England, which was one of the tournament's upsets. Although Bangladesh did not make it to the knockout stages, Shakib's individual performances, particularly with the ball, were commendable and his leadership had a lasting impact on the team's morale. Shakib Al Hassan's impact on Bangladeshi cricket goes beyond his records and accolades. He has inspired a generation of young cricketers to pursue the sport and has elevated Bangladesh's profile in the global cricketing community. 
His contributions have brought a newfound respect for Bangladesh cricket, and his performances have often single-handedly carried the team to victory. Shakib has also played a key role in transforming Bangladesh into a competitive side in international cricket, particularly in ODI and T20 formats. His leadership and ability to perform under pressure have made him a role model for aspiring players. Shakib's influence can be seen in the growing number of talented all-rounders emerging from Bangladesh, who look up to him as a source of inspiration. Virat Kohli, the Indian cricket star, is known for his exceptional talent and remarkable achievements. Born on November 5, 1988, in Delhi, Kohli's journey to cricketing stardom is a story of passion and hard work. He made his international debut in 2008 and quickly established himself as one of the greatest batsmen of his generation. Kohli's aggressive batting style, impeccable technique, and astute leadership have earned him numerous accolades, including ICC Cricketer of the Year and ICC ODI Player of the Year. As captain of the Indian cricket team, he led the team to historic victories both at home and overseas. Virat Kohli is one of the most celebrated cricketers of his generation and is widely regarded as one of the best batsmen in the history of the sport. Known for his fierce competitiveness, impeccable technique, and dedication, Kohli has redefined modern-day cricket with his record-breaking performances and charismatic leadership. Virat Kohli was born on November 5, 1988, in Delhi, India. Raised in a middle-class family, Kohli's passion for cricket was evident from a young age. His father, Prem Kohli, recognized his talent early on and supported him in pursuing cricket. At the age of nine, Kohli joined the West Delhi Cricket Academy, where he began formal training under coach Rajkumar Sharma. His early training laid the foundation for his disciplined approach to the game and shaped his aggressive yet methodical playing style. As Kohli progressed through the ranks, he quickly established himself as a young prodigy. His talent was evident in age group cricket, where he consistently performed well, earning him a spot in the Delhi under-15 team. By 2006, Kohli was playing for Delhi's under-19 team, showcasing his growing potential as a batsman. His big break, however, came during the 2008 ICC under-19 World Cup where he captained India to victory and finished as one of the tournament's standout performers. This performance solidified his place as a rising star and paved the way for his entry into international cricket. Kohli made his one-day international ODI debut for India on August 18, 2008, against Sri Lanka. His debut was humble, scoring just 12 runs, but he quickly adapted to the challenges of international cricket. Kohli's big break came during the 2009 ICC Champions Trophy, where he played an important role in India's middle order, showcasing his ability to perform under pressure. In 2010, he cemented his place in the team, scoring his maiden ODI century against Sri Lanka. Kohli's test debut came in 2011 against the West Indies, where he initially struggled to find his footing in the longer format. However, his resilience and work ethic saw him overcome these initial challenges, and he soon became a mainstay in India's test batting lineup. His breakthrough series came during the 2011-12 Tour of Australia, where he scored a remarkable 116 in the Adelaide Test, his maiden test century, against a formidable Australian bowling attack. As Kohli's career progressed, he quickly developed into one of the most consistent and technically sound batsmen in the world. His aggressive playing style, coupled with his fitness and commitment to scoring big runs, set him apart from his peers. By 2013, he was already seen as the backbone of India's batting order, particularly in ODI cricket. Kohli's ability to chase targets under pressure earned him the reputation of being one of the best chasers in the game, drawing comparisons with Sachin Tendulkar. One of the key attributes of Kohli's batting is his versatility. He has the rare ability to adapt his game across formats, displaying patience and technical precision in test cricket, while unleashing a wide range of aggressive shots in limited overs cricket. His ability to rotate the strike, find gaps, and accelerate the innings as needed has made him one of the most complete batsmen of his era. In 2013, 
Kohli was appointed as India's vice captain in ODIs, indicating the selector's confidence in his leadership potential. After MS Dhoni's retirement from Test cricket in December 2014, Kohli was named the Test captain of India. Under his leadership, India embarked on an impressive journey in Test cricket, achieving the number one Test ranking and remaining at the top for several years. Kohli's aggressive and unapologetic leadership style marked a shift in Indian cricket's approach. Unlike the traditionally conservative style of past Indian captains, Kohli emphasized fitness, aggression, and an attacking mindset, encouraging players to play fearlessly. His leadership brought a new energy to Indian cricket, particularly in test matches, where India became known for its formidable pace attack and relentless pursuit of victories, both at home and abroad. In 2017, Kohli took over as captain in all formats following Dhoni's retirement from limited overs captaincy. Kohli's tenure as captain saw India achieve numerous milestones, including their first-ever Test Series victory in Australia in 2018-19 and consistent performances in ICC tournaments. Kohli's impact on Indian cricket is profound. His emphasis on fitness, professionalism, and aggressive intent has transformed the Indian team into a competitive and fearless unit. His insistence on peak physical fitness has inspired the entire team to adopt rigorous fitness standards, making India one of the fittest teams in world cricket. His influence also extends beyond the field, as Kohli has inspired a generation of young cricketers who look up to him as a role model. This ends this week's episode of your program, Games and Names. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again. Goodbye.